Hey, it's 2020, it's a new decade. What one resolution could you and I make that would make the biggest difference in our lives? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about in today's Five Minute Focus. Welcome everybody to today's Five Minute Focus. And as we are making New Year's resolutions, as we uh, are looking forward to a new year, that is a great question. Mm -hmm. What's what the best one? What will make the biggest difference? In my yeah. life? There's a lot of important things. For sure. I really should start exercising, watching what I eat. I need to uh, curb my spending. I need to have a, a savings plan. Yeah. There are so many things that are going to help our life, but that is an interesting question. What would be the number one thing? Mm -hmm. Change our lives. Be, be probably the one thing that would affect all the other things in our life. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. It would. Well, where can we find the answer to that. I think Proverbs 3 is the spot to look. And we're going to read verses 5 and 6. Maybe you've heard these verses before. But Solomon writes, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you with which path to take. Wow, it sounds to me like uh, the wisest person in all the world has given us the most incredible wisdom here <laughs> to start everything out, to change everything in our life is yeah. to seek God first. Yep. To seek God and say, hey, God, you direct my paths. I, your wisdom, I love another verse that just says, if anybody lacks wisdom, James, if anybody lacks just wisdom, ask. just ask God who gives freely wisdom. Yep. Like, hey, who would know better for our lives than God? Nobody. Nobody would. So the resolution that we should make this year is, I am going to seek God for direction, for wisdom, mm -hmm. for all my discipline. other resolutions. All, I all of make. those other things. Okay. Yep. What does God say? So as we seek God, I mean that sounds simple, right? Seek God. <laughs> Let's put some tangible like steps to that. What yeah. does it mean to seek God? I think first thing is just talk to him daily. I mean, that is it is an incredible gift, blessing, whatever that we have to be able to talk to our Heavenly Father, mm -hmm. the creator of the universe, mm -hmm. and just simply enjoy a relationship with him. Yes, and I right? think uh, that that is the number one thing in all of life. There's number one thing in all of life mm -hmm. is to spend time with God. Yep. Now, I, I hear people all the time say, well, is God supposed to talk to you, whatever? I don't hear God. <laughs> you know what? Let me just ask you. Have you ever just stopped and listened? <laughs> and I'm not trying to be a smart aleck, but well, God's never spoken to me. Well, God doesn't have a, a, a physical verbal voice that he's going to use. Probably he could if he wanted to. Mm -hmm. He's going to speak to our spirit. Therefore, we have to quiet ourselves. And, and when you say 15 seconds is not long enough. Not long enough. When you say spend time with God, mm -hmm. that means time being the key word of putting everything else out, a very quiet place, mm -hmm. and actually talk to God. Father in heaven. I want to hear your voice. I want you to direct me. I want you to move in my life yep. and just sit there and just and say it again and again. Spend time with God. That's number one. Number one. Uh, very important. Another, I think another thing that we can do if we are looking to seek God and his will in our lives, read his instruction manual. Yes. <laughs> uh, you know what? I think part of we just we're talking about I've never heard God's voice. The instruction manual can be God's voice. Definitely. God's speaking to us. I know it's been very personal to me as I've read, as I have sat down to read the Bible, mm -hmm. like, wow, some things just jump out. That's God speaking. I think we both you know? have very personal experiences, specifically related to ministry and what we feel God has called us to do, where yeah. we sat down and said, yep. God, speak to me. Speak. And it was through the pages of the Bible that he did that for both yes, of us. Yes, so. he, he can. And I just want to say this, though, uh, because uh, and not to correct what you said, just to add more clarification. And reading the Bible is not the important thing. <laughs> Knowing yeah. what's in the Bible is the important sure. thing. And I know for years I've felt beat up by people. You have to read your Bibles, you know, uh, seven days without the word of God makes one week, you know, and things like that. But listen, you can listen to it. You can hear other people read it. You know, it's not like I have to read the Bible every day. This is not a legalistic. No, thing. the importance yeah. is know what God says. Yep, for sure. Yeah. And the last thing that we can do to seek to seek God's will for our lives is to simply surround ourselves with other people who want to be close to God and know his will. Yes. Right? Yes. We become like the people we hang out we with. We will. And we will gain insight. And you know, yep. who you hang around with, you become just like the people you hang around Definitely. with. Definitely. That's really good. And I, I think that, uh, you know what, our culture and most of us have kind of put like, well, going to church is something I don't have to do. I can be a Christian. I can read the Bible. I can talk to God. 
But you know what? Let's just be practical here. Practical. We're, we're really making some decisions for next year and how our, our lives can be the better. Putting God first. I'll just cut through all the cheese. I didn't say crap. <laughs> uh, you know what? Go to church. Go to church. Be around church. Be around where the Bible is is taught and spoken of. Where we're around other people who want to grow inspired. in their relationship with we God. We learn. We're inspired. We're challenged. Uh, we sense God's presence during worship time and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I don't want to make this legalistic either. But if you're making a New Year's resolution, put at the very top this year. Mm -hmm. We as a family, or me as an individual, I am going to make going to church a priority part of my life. It's Put that it simple. On the calendar. Yep, it's that simple. And so as you're making resolutions in all, seek God's will. Do that by spending time with him, by knowing his word, and by surrounding yourselves with the right people. And uh, hopefully that gives you some food for thought this week. Yes. Hey, we really hope that this video was helpful for you. If you'd like to stay up to date on our weekly content, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on that little bell icon so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. And if you'd like to support the ministries here at Access Church and help make videos like this possible, there'll be a link in the description below. As always, we appreciate your partnership in helping us draw people into a growing relationship with God through Jesus Christ.